everything was just all over the place. It's like we're going to have a monumental cleanup. We didn't know the intensity of the storm. You know, we knew that there'd be winds and stuff. So we were preparing primarily for winds and heavy rains, which would knock down a lot of things that we still had growing. We really didn't get as much as we thought we would. But we had no idea that we'd get flooded. Uh, by then, all the damage was done. I think it speaks to how resilient both nature is and people are. Coming into it afterwards, I was really amazed to see the farm regenerating, but also seeing the time it took for the soil to kind of get back to where it needed to be to be arable and grow food crops, but also the connections that people made during Sandy and after Sandy are still thriving to this day. The farm was lifted two feet up and there was these barriers placed around it so that it's not just washing away um, like happened before. And we have a mobile kitchen and a mobile cooler now so that is part of the network of, well, other ways that we can kind of move produce around, move food and move the ability to cook food around to higher ground. Even the couple of hurricanes that just came through, um, I was part of an email chain of people from all the different nonprofits and service organizations in Red Hook um, being in communication and being ready in case something does happen. It's amazing that within three years time that you really can't find anything that reminds you or back in 2012 of the damage that tidal floodwaters can do and how it moves things.